Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Transformers review. Today I'm taking a look at G10 from the Transformers Go series by Takara Tomy. This is Hishimaru, which is uh, basically a phoenix part of the ninja, ninja team. Um, yeah, let's have a quick look around the box. Down the side there we've got the ninja outline with Hishimaru at the top of the Ninja Combiner. And on the back we've got the further members of the team. Shimaru himself and then him again at the top section of the Combiner. There is a bio and I can't read it. On the side there we've got him in Phoenix mode and do 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 transformed with his tech spec. So, without further ado, let's get him out of the box and reviewed. And here he is, out of the box. Now, as like the uh, other Go combiner teams, he comes with three cards. Uh, he's got him in bot mode, vehicle mode, and see if we can get this in focus. In his combined mode, and obviously this used the Gohishao or Gohishu uh, combined mode, where he forms the upper part of the torso. Boink. There we go. So in bot mode, what do we think? First of all, uh, that head screams Rodimus to me. <laughs> that is. A Rodimus head if ever I've seen one. Um, once again, these are very brave inspired. I really, really like this figure. It's a very, very vibrant orange and yellow. I'm hoping that's picking that up quite well on the camera. Um, first impressions of this guy. A little disappointed with the um, with the waist. Again, it, it's not actually clipped in uh, here. It's like the it's two separate legs. Uh, this centre chest piece goes down and clips on to the legs like so, but you then got such a high thigh swivel. Um, it's just, it almost like you need another joint just here, an upper upper thigh rotation or something. Just think that would, yeah, I just think it'd look a little bit better. You've got a head swivel up and down due to the transformation but no ball joint or anything there got a good range of motion on the arms there uh, two points of rotation and an upper, bi um, upper bicep swivel uh, ball joint on the elbow yeah nothing on the hands as far as the uh, thigh goes you've got a good range of movement there lovely clicking joint uh, so you've got swivel at the top of the thigh yeah, and you've got Really nice join on the knee there. Get some crazy, crazy poses. With the feet, you've got basic movement because of uh, the combining section. Plastic's a little thin on the legs. The only thing I don't really like about these figures is they're very hollow due to the fact that everything folds in. Um, I mean, I can't moan because everything has a place and there's a place for everything, but it... Ah, uh, it seems like such a shame to have a hollow figure. I've been playing with the older stuff, like the Digunders and the Web Divers lately, and they're really big and chunky. And I think this is just the way things are going now, though, isn't it? They've just cut down on on plastic quality. And <sighs> look at me, I sound like an old fart. But I, <laughs> oh, back in my day, they had big chunky Transformers. But this guy. As awesome as he is, I mean, he is good. I mean, I have to get him because I need the ninja team. He comes with a blazing fire sword. That is a pretty nice sword, isn't it? Look at that. Boing. Highly detailed. I like that. Let's put that in his hand. He says, that. as far as fire swords go, that is pretty awesome, I think. I am liking that a lot. 
mean, you can get this guy in some crazy poses, you can. I'm not... I would have liked maybe a hinge or something with these so they can fold down just out the way so they hang at the back. Because if you haven't got a lot of uh, room on your display, you can't really get him that close to the back. Granted, mine will be in combined mode. But, you know, it's just, ooh, just... Just little, little niggly bits like that. Little niggly bits. So, is it really too much to ask? Is it? Is it? Like the uh, other go team, backpack, uh, head, etc. comes with him and can just be placed on the back like so. Yeah, not a fan of it on that mode. It looks a little lame in my opinion. Um, Kind of an afterthought, really. I mean, I wonder if I can, if I turn that round that way. I wonder if we can get away with having kind of, we having some head cannons or something. Yeah, no, that doesn't work either, does it? Oh, well, that's worth it. Worth it. I mean, it, no, no, I'm gonna have to go this way, isn't it? That's a shame. It, yeah, I personally think this guy is the weakest. Of these that I've seen so far, is of the weakest of the Go Autobots. Um, oh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not annoyed um, because the overall thing is going to be absolutely superb. It's just they, it's just missing something. There's no wow factor to this guy like there was with the others. Um, yeah, let's get this guy transformed into. Bird bot mode, um, Phoenix. Uh, I, my my opinion may change. You know, he may wow me in vehicle mode, but let's just have a look. First of all, let's take his sword out and take the backpack off, like so. You want to get his arm, and these want to come out, up, and under. See, there's a peg. Under here, let's just get it in focus. There's a peg just under here, uh, here, which pegs into slot under there. So he's kind of itching his armpits like so. Head down and pull the Phoenix head up like so. You then need to turn it around, he says. Is it going to pivot? Yes, it does, but be careful because it does catch on this section here. The legs peg together with that clip there, like so. And at the back here, this section here, and this section here. You want to fold those out like so, fold the hand feet in like that. They need to proceed to fold this guy in half, so these sections here should peg into here. So let's fold him over. Uh, of course, he would come apart, wouldn't he? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it on the fly, because that's how I roll. Right, those are pegged in, that's pegged in, like so, and let's push those back together. There we go, everybody's happy. Fold these feet up like, need to be straight and put it up like so, it holds this whole section here in place. Then these side bits, you wanna bring those round like so on this side here bring that side round like so and then putting pressure on here you can pull this section down it's just it's pegged in quite tight if you can see the peg it's just here pegged in quite tight pull that down and you can see that that is going to form the phoenix feet sword bottom phoenix tail Plug it in like so. Beak down. Ah. Then we can sort these 
arms out, kind of spreading the wings like so. There we go, that's uh, that's pretty much the Phoenix mode. I suppose the arms can come back slightly, but they say on the instruction to have them like that. So let's take a look at him down, like so. There we go, let's get him to the focus. There we go. He's not... He's not bad. I wouldn't say he's amazing. I do prefer this mode to robot mode, I think. Um, yeah, I think I do. It still looks to me like he's kind of an angry chicken with his arms in his armpits going bok, 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 bok. but <laughs> I can't see past that, I really can't. I want to say how much I love this figure but I don't, I think it's awful, he looks ghastly. Um, obviously I need him for the ninja combiner, I've said that several times and he is a must for anybody collecting these. But he is, he is the weakest that I've seen. Um, he's got a nice Autobot logo. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a shame, isn't it? Uh, of course, like he did in his... Um, he did in his robot mode. You can put the... Backpack, backpack, backpack... Again, making sure that the head section is down and the guns are out of the way. You've got now got the tail and the wings to contend with, so you have to plug this in. That doesn't want to go in brilliantly, but it is kind of more out the way in this mode. And it does look better in this mode than it did in robot mode, in my opinion. It still looks like kibble. Um, Although the above view looks slightly better. Oh, he's, he's not all bad. He's not all bad, but... Uh, it's just, uh, just that chicken look. I can't get past the chicken look. He's meant to be a phoenix. He's meant to rise from the flames. Not peck bird seed off the floor. <laughs> Now, don't completely rule this guy out on my say-so. He is a nice figure. He's just not my cup of tea. Um, I'm a huge Brave fan, as you may probably have guessed by now. And the Brave aesthetic is there. It's just... I think they could have done more with this guy. I know they've kind of rushed to get them out uh, to satisfy the fans' thirst. I just feel they could have done a little bit more. Um, I won't get this guy transformed into his legs or upper torso mode yet. I'm going to do a full review of the third modes for these when I get all three members. Because um, there's going to be three different variations. So he'll be a top, middle and bottom. So I shall wait until that point to do that. And yes... Please don't hesitate to buy this figure. You will need him as part of your ninja team. He just unfortunately, in my opinion, he is the weakest of the team so far. So, I honestly cannot wait to get the other ones because the ninja combiner, if you haven't already seen it, Google it. He looks like he's going to be a absolutely awesome figure. And I'm going to stick some Decepticon stickers on here and turn him into a Decepticon because I think that's what he should have been. So, until next time, guys. Thanks again to Comic Toys for rushing these out to me. Uh, again, very good postage uh, costs and a very good service. Thank you. Until next time, from me and uh, G10 uh, Hishu Alumaru. Goodbye.